All right, guys. This is this is the quarters of the officer or the sergeant of the guarding patrol. People who guard. Not like in the Israeli army today, where we're the scruffiest army in the world, where I can come up to my leading officer, yes, and say, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" Yes, especially in reserves, friends, they are colonels today, yes, if they chose that. And I can come, hey buddy, this and that, no worries. At the time, full distance. He's a sergeant, they are not. He doesn't even talk to them. He's here, they're there. Um, that will be fun. In his quarters, in his quarters, um, you wanted to ask me a question. What was the question? Black line. What's the black line? Okay. This actually comes from Assad. This is the first place they, that they did this. Whatever is underneath this line was found standing in the early, originally in the, in the early 60s when they started to excavate the place. All of this was full up with, with dust and dirt. Yeah? You know where it comes from? Ceiling. Yeah. If you, you remember a few years back when mommy said, clean and tidy your room, it goes like this. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't. No. Clean and tidy your room. If you miss out on one, two, three thousand years, it fills up with a lot of dirt and it stays still because of this. All the rest came falling down. This is the speculation of the archaeologist who dug here, how it used to look at the time. He says, in Herodian time, you've got straight bars to the doors. In, in Crusaders time, they were round, etc., etc. Okay? So, that's what they do. <laughs> Please, yes. Um, is, that, is any of this the original rock? That, did they like, take it from over here and like, put it up there? Not only the original. I can tell you that these stones were exactly on this wall and not on that wall. And how do I know that? It fell right there. Fit the line. Yeah, but there's two ways. <laughs> the two ways that they can fall. Either they fall each one to a different direction or all to the same direction. Two reasons that they can fall. What would be the reasons? Earthquake. Or being not being knocked down. Who has been here before on the Sada? When have you been in the Sada last? Uh, two years ago with my family. Two years ago. Who has been from last time that he's been is more than that? When? When I was 12, so. So? 14 years ago. How much? How many? 12 years ago. 14 years ago. 14 years ago. He's in college. He can't take them. Okay? 14 years ago. Yeah. You looked at the mountains of Jordan, yeah? When we came up, you saw, you seen them. Yes. You obviously noticed that the whole mountains of Jordan moved around 26 centimeters north. I did. I saw it on your face. He was curious, <laughs> so, curious about that. It's moving all the time. The second fastest tectonical move in the world is over here. We have earthquakes all the time by God. In the last months, we felt it three times all over Israel. Yeah. I, here, when I was living in Arad, it was nearly every year, a real one that shakes you up. I was in the worst place ever, 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 ever to be in an earthquake. Toilet. No, in the toilet anyhow you move. <laughs> the dentist. Oh. oh! Hold still. It's not me! <laughs> uh, in an earthquake, Everybody, every, all the walls fall to the same direction. It's like me putting checkers on a table, giving a tap to the table, everything falls the same direction. So I can know that this, these stones were exactly on this wall, and not on this wall falling this way. Okay? Now, on top of that, um, people tend to think today that, well, this was built 2,000 years ago. What did they understand in quality of building? They probably, probably look like this 2,000 years ago, yeah? You would think? Looks like this 2,000 years ago? Yeah. Especially today, when people build their own 
houses, maybe out there in California. You want to be a little bit more connected to earth. You want to post modern art. You would leave one wall of your new built house with stones. So it looks like it's authentic, yeah? Right or right? Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> right. Yeah. At the time, no such thing. No such thing. Everything is covered with this thick plaster, another Roman invention. And if Octavian could build with marble in Rome, Herod does not have the budget to build with marble. He will do on the plaster, he will do these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fresco and secco. Uh, paintings, okay, when you put the pigments into the plaster and you do the plaster. Look how beautiful it is. The red and yellow come from? No. The earth, wind. Never heard the spices. Earth, wind. <laughs> yes. Fire, water. water. <laughs> from? Not the algae. From? Rust. Rust from what? Iron in the soil, yes? There's iron, you bring a little bit of iron, you put it here. What does the green come from? The green. You said that this is iron and this is? Copper. Copper. Okay? Copper. What does the blue come from? It's a tricky one. Blood. Blood? Royal blood. Juice. Squidding. Squid ink. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Ah. Rare. Rare. I tell you, two rare answers I got so far on this. <laughs> one was from Paul. Thank you. One is from you. Yeah. Squid. They, uh, the whole profession of this land in the ancient times was making this color out of squids. Okay? Chevzonot uh, Yamim. The, the name Canaan in Canaanite is this color. Maybe one of the reasons that we have the blue on our uh, flag, okay, maybe. But how did they see that it's from this? They found squids on Masada. No, they didn't walk here. Yeah? <laughs> so this is beautiful. What they found it, how they found it, um, is really, really beautiful. Can you show them over there? Look how they found it. They sent it to Italy, it came back like this. Andrea. Yes, they renewed the pigments. Okay. Let's go out.